What's up everybody? The F1 light on my Jixer is on. Got a, got a problem. That's actually why I'm taking it out right now anyway. I'm gonna meet my family for dinner. And I got my girlfriend on the back. But uh, we're gonna go take it by the shop because my rear tire keeps slowly going flat. And that was the only problem, but uh, as soon as I went to start it up, now that F1 light is on, telling me I got a problem. So I guess while I'm at the shop, I'll have them check that out. So yeah, that's not fantastico, but I mean, it, it happens. But it could be worse. On the bright side, I have a quick car update. That custom car that I ordered is now, uh, it's targeted to be on the production line and start getting built. Uh, early-ish next month so that's cool so yeah early to mid April my car should be in construction I hope now if I can just get my bike to last long I'll, uh, I'll be good pretty sure one of the vents in my helmet is open because I'm getting a weird cold rush of air to the back of my skull I thought they're all shut though they are shut what is going on is it my visor? What is happening? Maybe that was it. Maybe my mouth vent was open. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't even tell. Is up closed or is down closed? I can't remember. Yeah, just a quick update. I'm gonna take my bike in for bike problems. Hashtag bike life. And uh, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and throw some new tires on there. Uh, it has the same ones as stock and I'm just at over 6,000 miles now. So I mean, I can use some. I don't like need them or anything, but might as well get ready for summer, right? I see that F1 thing flashing and it just makes me sad. I hope there's like nothing wrong with the bike. I hope it's like that tire pressure or something, but it didn't do that before. I have no idea. I better not be having problems, man. I really don't abuse this bike that much. Dear Mr. School Bus, hurry up, you're slow. I don't wanna pass them. I don't feel right passing the school bus. But if this truck does, I will. Nope, guess not. Oh, well. We're only going a few under the speed limit, but it feels so slow because everyone always goes like at least five to 10 over here. Okay, now we're going 10 under. Now I'm a little annoyed. Uh, I hate you. Always hated school. We had an awful storm last night here. Like there was a picture uh, a couple towns over it was like a, a tornado looking thing with lightning going through it. Somebody had posted it up. It was crazy. And here it rained so bad. I was on my way here last night and like everyone was driving like 10 to 30 miles an hour because no one could see. It was just ridiculous rain. But it stopped last night or this morning. It rained a little this morning, but the sun finally came out. So it's pretty good now. Now I'm able to ride a little bit. I was hoping to ride this weekend, but I mean, I don't know, my bike may have other plans. I guess we'll see. <laughs> There's so many cars behind us right now. This school bus is a problem. Oh, you should have gone. Now you're gonna get stuck behind everyone and the school bus. You done messed up, eh, Aaron? Nah, that was a girl, that was D-nice. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I feel sorry for you, it's a Key and Peele skit. Ooh. What is going on over there? That's some luggage. Hey, school bus is turning, yay! Well, yeah, that's really all I got today. Kind of a short little uh, bike problem video. I may record on the way back if something gets fixed or not. I don't really know what's gonna happen, unfortunately. I'm hoping I can just leave it there, go get dinner, and uh, come back and pick it up after dinner. But I mean, you know how that goes, wishful thinking. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't hit that like button and that subscribe button, you should totally go do that. Cause I love you. And cause you love me. Cause if you don't, I'll kill you. What? Haha. <laughs> You messed up.
Just got new tires put on. New shoes for Bay. They're gonna be real slippery. I have to be careful. Plus it's freezing outside, so I can't even warm them up right. The struggle is real. Oh, I'm so scared. They feel slippery. Brand new tires. This bike is definitely higher up than it was. It feels like I'm sitting higher and like my feet are dangling off the bike, like barely touching the ground. Hashtag short people problems. These are gonna be so much better though than stock. I got the uh, Road 5. Oh man, even braking was bad, wow. I cannot brake hard on this thing, Jesus. Yeah, I got the Pilot Road 5s, I think is what they're called. Maserati. I don't think I zipped my jacket up all the way. It's kind of really, really cold. Well, I made it to a little over 6,000 miles before I had to change the tires. So uh, I guess I'll do a review of these when I can. I don't know, it's gonna take a little while for me to break them in and then get used to them. I'm definitely higher up off the ground at stops. Oh, it's so cold, which makes it windy and ugh, I don't like it. This is not moto vlogging weather. Oh, it's ridiculous. My face is freezing. This bike will not go over 140 degrees. It's so cold. Long story short, my tire had a slow leak in it. The back tire did. Like I noticed it was kind of low one day, like not bad. So I went and I filled it up, but um, like I came back, I rode around and it was fine. Like I, I got back to the house, it was still fine. Uh, like the next day or two, I came out and it was like really flat, like pr pretty, pretty not drivable flat. So I filled it up, waited a little bit, checked it, it was still good. So I rode around, came back, still good. Next, next few days go by, I come back, check it again, and it's flat again. So it had a real slow leak. But um, it was time to replace them anyway. I mean, you know, not 100%, I didn't have to, but I went ahead and did it. So yeah, that's that got taken care of. I got new tires, so at least when summer comes around, these should be warmed up enough, I'll be good to go. And I'll have these nice new tires to play around with. And I'll see how much I like them better than the stock ones, which I have to check. I may put it up on the screen if I remember to see what uh, stock tires are versus mine. I'll put them up in the in the description in the in the thing. I'll uh, I'll uh, yeah, you'll see. I'm a little sketched out going down this hill on these new tires. I didn't realize how slippery they were really gonna be, but like I braked hard to test them, and I think I slid a little bit. I'm just more nervous than anything. I know I have to get out on a warm day. Hopefully tomorrow, just get on the highway and give them some good miles and wear them in. Kind of glad this uh, chip truck is in front of me. It gives me an excuse to go slow. Because there's a big line of cars behind me. <laughs> and that guy right behind me is a little close to my butt and I'm not really liking it very much. Man, this wind is like pummeling my face. Well guys, uh, just letting you know I got new tires. <laughs> Woo, Harley's for sale. I'm gonna go be a Harley rider. Get a real back, boy. That's really all I got. It's all dead. All right, I'll do it back. It's cool, it's whatever. But uh, yeah, that's all I have today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, join join the family. I'll give you some Frito-Lay's potato chips. I am hoping to get out and ride with some people pretty soon when this weather starts acting a little better. Tomorrow's supposed to be the best day this weekend, really, and it's going to be uh, a high of like 60, maybe, I'm hoping. So we'll see. Maybe I'll get out and record a video. Do a little break into the tires. Frito Lay is good fun. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you next time. Always remember, if you get new tires, break them in. Don't go out stunting right off the bat, because you'll just crash and stuff. My blinker's on. Oops. Oh, I was going to speed up and pass these guys, but that's a cop. That would have been bad. 5-0, <laughs> Peace out, guys. I'll catch you next time. Or, or not. That's, that's cool. I'll just throw up the deuces for no reason. He was on a sport bike too, he should know better.